We understand what has brought you to this point, and you are not alone. In fact, every year, over two million couples discover that they are infertile. Rather than give up on the dream of parenting, many couples consider adoption as their best option for completing their family. At Adoption Network Law Center, domestic adoption is all we do. We feel that by focusing on our core business, we are better able to reach more birth mothers and match more couples in less time and with fewer disruptions. Hello, I'm Diana Morris and this is my husband Peter. And we are very proud to be doing this video testimonial for Adoption Network Law Center because of the tremendous success that we had creating our family with our two adopted children, Shannon and Megan. It, it's it's very, very special experience that we've had. Um, and you know, like Diana mentioned earlier, our daughter is fully aware that she was adopted and it makes her feel very proud to be adopted and she has adopted friends as well. And it, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. She's very proud to be adopted. And uh, you know, we honestly feel we couldn't have created a child as great as our two daughters. So um, it, it's a neat experience, highly recommend it. And I think because we worked so hard, it was God's way of saying, we're giving you something super special. Thank you, it's our two daughters. One of the things that I used to always, going through the infertility treatments, really struggle with, especially after a failed cycle, was going to the grocery store and seeing these moms walk around the grocery store with their babies in the carts. And they're sitting there with their little legs through the little holes and they're pushing their carts and getting their groceries. And I always looked at that, I don't know why, and I always envied them. And so the first time that I was able to bring my oldest to the grocery store and she was big enough to sit up and put her in that grocery cart and walk down the aisles with her, I was so proud. And all it was was grocery shopping, but it made me so happy. It was great. <laughs> I'm proud to introduce my family, Shannon, Megan, Diana, and we have to thank the Adoption Network Law Center and Alan and Carol for putting it together because without them, I don't know if we would ever have been this lucky. We basically uh, went through many years of infertility, probably more than the average person because we moved from out of state and uh, kept having to start over again. But finally, after two rounds, two rounds of uh, in vitro, we decided that uh, we just wanted to be parents and that this would be the way to go. We didn't want to mess with the doctors anymore. We wanted to move on. One of the things I know that you might be going through is the whole point of adopting. And uh, I know we went through it too, wondering uh, what's it going to feel like to have a child in your, your house that technically does not come from you and your husband. And let me tell you, ah, here's the little princess now. This is Katie Aaron. Can you say hi? <laughs> let me tell you, from the second she was born and we were at the birth, Jeffrey cut the cord, from the second she came out, she was ours 1,000%. And I can't tell you how emotional it is, but never in a million years do I ever think that she is not mine 1 million percent. Adoption Network Law Center. Building families one miracle at a time.